how do we make sport delivery in Winnipeg, structured or unstructured, a place where people feel like they belong, where they can gain independence and a sense of mastery, where they feel like they want to give back to the community. So with Ian's leadership and, uh, and funding from the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority through the Poverty Reduction Council, we were able to create uh, the cross-sector sport initiative position and we subsequently hired Chino. So the cross-sector sports initiative asks the tough questions. It brings all the key players together and really starts to look at how can we realign delivery of programming and opportunities in Winnipeg. Basically what we could do is we could hire someone whose sole job or sole purpose would be uh, to remove barriers for children and youth in the city of Winnipeg, whatever, their, whatever condition they lived in, uh, to participate in recreation and sport. The sport policy is to try and help organizations really take a, a new look with a revised and updated lens based on the long-term athlete development and the Canadian Sport for Life model as to how are we delivering programs. But as we know, a policy is only as good as it is on paper as the implementation phase. With the cross-sector sports initiative, it's trying to really bring those organizations that do deliver physical activity, sport, recreation, active living opportunities to say, let's really think about this. There are always common challenges and common themes uh, to what we're doing and we all get together in a room and discuss these and it really facilitates partnership. Um, it really like uh, sort of makes our, our work more efficient and then we're able to identify larger larger issues, larger problems and then deal with them in a more creative way. You know we concentrated a lot at first on, on the community needs and the youth themselves and now we're kind of looking at how we can provide more opportunities for kids and, and realistically like we can't provide every opportunity on our own, so having partnerships like and a huge network like YA allows us to, you know, provide better art programming, uh, sports programming, all those things can get better because we have partner agencies. We were approached about a project where uh, the inmates at Henningley Jail were repairing bikes, but there was no sort of avenue to distribute those bikes to kids. So what Chino did was fantastic. He went out there and he found the groups with the greatest need and helped them select participants. Chino pulled all these partners together, coordinated these big bike giveaways that pulled in the, the, the funders. MPI came on board to actually provide safety around that. So that's helmets. Uh, we also got locks from the city of Winnipeg. And then each one of the kids, when they got their bike, also got a safety lesson on their bike. The one drawback to sort of concentrating on the sort of more economically depressed neighborhoods is you miss the sort of isolated pockets of poverty around the city. Um, so this was great for that because it, it gave us the opportunity to go out and meet new people, see new places and you know provide programming to kids who otherwise might have just sort of slipped under the radar. That program could not have happened without this initiative being in place because none of the agencies had the resources to be able to manage that and yet we were all beneficiaries. I think when we look at the Winnipeg Community Sport Policy in its broadest sense, and, and I've mentioned physical activity, active living, recreation, active transportation, because that's the exciting and powerful piece of the policy, is it includes all of that. It includes your volunteers, it includes your leadership, it includes your facilities. The, uh, the inner city basketball program was a perfect example. Um, the University of Manitoba, it was their project. They, they, they were going to fund it, they were going to staff it. Uh, they brought Chino into it and then uh, there was a need for, you know, a particular piece that the university didn't have at that point. And Chino contacted the city of Winnipeg and they had the missing piece. He put them together. The program was better because of that partnership, but they probably wouldn't.
I've said I'm, I'm biased. I think sport is can be a great unifier. And in this case, it, it truly, it really, really, truly is.